Good morning, guys. This is Lorraine Brock, and today, as you probably already know, is Tuesday, and this is Tip Tuesday, where I bring you tips for your home business and life uh, every week on Tuesday. And actually, it's not tips plural anymore. We're doing one tip uh, every Tuesday on something to help you get some area of your life, world, home, business, everything organized. So there's tons of topics. If you're just tuning in and haven't really uh, heard about Tip Tuesday before, I know you can go to our YouTube page and see all of our past Tip Tuesdays uh, that we started, I think, in January of 2019. So I am out and about today, and that's a great thing about Tip Tuesday, is you can do it from any place and anywhere, and it makes it convenient, and um, today's on-the-go um, convenience for me as I'm having lunch with my grandkids and also going to do Tip Tuesday. So today's uh, talk is about keeping a visual calendar, and I know it's the first of the year, and uh, people are obviously redoing their calendar or getting new calendars or adding a lot of things for the next year onto their calendars. Um, and I know many of you guys are digital users. You use um, a Google Calendar, you use uh, Outlook, and, and so many more other applications that potentially you might use. And so I want to talk today more of about a visual calendar. So I had a client, I guess, about five years ago, and she was heavy into paper calendaring, and she had decided from many um, prodding of her uh, husband that he wanted to do a shared calendar, and so she left the paper calendar behind and fully committed to a digital calendar, and about a month or so into it, she had communicated with me that she was missing appointments, that it she just wasn't her, not only her appointments, but her task and things that she was putting on the calendar was not really working for her. And she had been used to a paper calendar, which is definitely a more visual calendar uh, because it can be out and opened as you walk by or as you pass uh, or you know through a hallway or on your desk, where a digital calendar, to be honest, is often harder to uh, visually see it unless you actually think about opening it on your phone uh, or on your computer or electronic device. So we worked with her a little bit more. She definitely just did not like the digital calendar. Uh, I think we gave it like two or three months and she reverted back to the paper calendar and they each have their pros and cons. And so it really depends on how you consume information. But I want to share with you guys last week I was on Oklahoma uh, News 4 doing a segment there. It's actually below on our YouTube page. You can check it out. And I mentioned something that I want to expand on. So this right here, it's going to appear backwards in uh, the actual video. Uh, but this is a calendar called a Restick Dry Erase Self-Adhesive Calendar. And this one's about a 12 by 16. And on the back of it, it's, it's a peel and stick. So you take it off, you peel it, you can put it on wood, plastic, the walls. It doesn't damage anything and it can actually be repositioned too. So if you stick it down once and it's not exactly where you want it, you can pull it back up. But it comes with um, a black one of these and then it comes with a very large cloth to clean it. And I want to show you, this thing is really impressive. So I'm going to mark on here and you know just do some markings on here and even if I let this completely dry um, this right here it just you just actually wipe it off really easy it's called basically the the product has no ghosting no scratching it's extremely durable so be aware that this is an awesome product like alert alarms need to be going off if you want something really visual now they make this like i said this size is a 12 by 16 they also make a 24 by 36 and also a 36 by 48 and they make custom. Now, I'm not sure if custom means sizing or if custom also means some design on here. I didn't research it, but I got it on Amazon and it's called Restick, S-T-I-C. And I think it's an outstanding because what, what it is, is you can reuse it for month. You'd put the month here, month here, and then you can put little, little things that come to your mind right here, like little things you want to remember 
And then obviously you can put your numbers in here and re-erase them and put your task and little more notes down here at the bottom. It's just a great, great visual calendar and it's a peel and stick. So go check out Amazon on this. And uh, this started at $19.99 and obviously they go up uh, from that. Visual calendars work really well for people with ADHD, ADD. Uh, they work uh, really good for uh, younger children to middle-aged children uh, that don't have cell phones or don't use a calendar that the family can, they can just sort of see the overall family schedule um, at a glance without having to come and ask you. So these are really good for those types of, um, of situations and probably a few more. Um, dog, heartworm pill in the refrigerator, dogworm pills or um, things you got to do. This great. This would be great. You can even make this into a chore. Long situation, long story there. You can make it into a chore chart though. So anyway, I just want to remind you about that tip and then remind you um, about our bedside pocket. Now remember, we are only giving away one gift for the entire month and it's going to be larger. This is like a $50 item. You can see in the picture what it does, but it's a large bedside pocket. Um, this is from the container store and what you'll end up doing is um, putting it beside your bed to put tissues or water bottles or magazines or remote controls. It's an awesome. So how do you win it? You leave comments down below and sharing um, our tip Tuesday will get you entered into the drawing. So we, we accumulate all the shares and we accumulate and add up all of the uh, comments for the entire month and at the end of the month, we will draw and we will announce it the first episode in February of who won the January item and then get it out to you. So keep sharing, keep commenting. Um, it That helps us and also it helps you get into position to win that giveaway um, each month. And that will obviously be a different giveaway each month. So I think that's it for Tip Tuesday. And I hope you enjoyed learning about a visual calendar and go check it out on amazon.com. And we will see you next week on Tip Tuesday. I'm Lorraine Brock, helping you get your home, business, and life completely organized. Bye guys.